Yeah, me too. Do you brush your teeth? Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah. No way. No way. Where do you get them from? You don't remember? What is going on? We got Kenny Cooper. We have four people. Four people. So we're Kenny. actually racking it up. I've got to sign on to our live so that we can actually see the comments instead of doing What up, what up? Hey, Lawn Whisperer. Are you able to flip it? Oh, yeah, you can still flip it. Yeah, I can flip right. it. What's up, man? What's going on? Well, I thought you were on vacation. <laughs> but what else is there better to do while on vacation? B. Davis. Hey, yeah, I got my own YouTube page just for you, B. Davis. Pretty sweet, huh? Grass Whisperer. We got Lawn Whisperer and Grass Whisperer. Too much in whispering in here. Speak up, guys. What's happening, everybody? Grace, hello. Hello. So check it out. Let's see if I can actually figure out how to uh, get us there. Jeremy's trying to... Oh, there we are. Hello. George, hello. Scott, hello. Hey, uh, I guess we don't need my volume. No. We know what we're talking about. No. <laughs> All right, hey. So, YouTube said an investigation is going on. Yo, hey, the investigation is over. What investigation? B. Davis had a whole section that said... Uh, viewers of Brett's Grass Cafades also like this. I know, I saw that my uh, video was on there, but I got no mention there. I was the second one over. That's messed up. I know. Tiffany yeah. in the house. Bobby J. Andy. Andy. You know we have it right here so that we can oh. look right here. Well, so I that... like seeing my face. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a bad statement. <laughs> oh, narcissistic. Oh, uh, like Pacific Northwest. What's up, man? That's Brett. I'm sorry. It's the one that's too close to the camera that's up here like this. Like, I got bugs. That's, hey, the yeah. real whipper. What's up? Yeah, it does. Well, hey, check it out. Jeremy's up here, and uh, I'm going to make him mow my lawn. I guess that's what I'm doing tonight. He didn't even know that. No, I didn't. He just sprung that on surprise, me. Surprise, surprise. All right, I'm going to get a lawnmower. Uh, so... He mows it every single day, so I should have known when I came here and it was a millimeter longer. Is that a thing? Millimeter? I don't I, I We're in Imperial, so I don't know how this goes. You didn't mow yesterday? You sick? You good? You did what for eight hours? My tire got popped. Your tire got popped. Anybody got a tire for the little one? Her tire got popped. Uh, some triple, um, some stripes. I can definitely do some stripes. Uh, should I try a triple stripe on this bad boy? Because it is, ah, it's kind of looking shaggy right now. Must not have mowed it. All right, hey, I'm going to mow a perimeter pass and then you can mow whatever you want. Whatever you want. I can mow whatever I want? TGL rocks is what's going in this thing. It's hilarious. Whoop. Sorry. He's got me on like a 12 foot tripod. It's almost as tall as me. See how it's over my head and I'm walking around. It's sitting down. He's got it it's way too high. Anyone else get a mow on tonight? Like, I know that uh, you short guys like to mow every single day and I usually don't like to do that mow thing every single day. We are in Utah, in Northern Utah. Uh, have the drought season going on. Triplex stripes, yeah. I'll see if you'll let me bring that triplex over here. We'll mow it with it. We'll see how that goes. Do really well around the flag area over here. <laughs> I'd probably patch the heck out of those right there. Single dubs, you have a lot of faith in me with this thing. It has no wills. You're hot down there, aren't you? I'm just a breeder lawn. All right. Jeremy's going to mow all by himself. So, we had Jeremy of the greener lawn on the lawnmower. I don't know 
how this is gonna change. It's the same thing. He said he's never mowed with it. What? What did you do? Is, did you put the brake on? Or is that, did you touch that one? He broke my lawnmower. He broke. a little tight. All right. I know Doc, Doc has girls doing it and I have Jeremy. What's up with that? Uh, Connor said he's going to do dirt stripes in the lawn. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? All right. Jeremy's going at it. Jeremy is going for it. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what pattern he's doing. He's just going for it. What's up? Can we do this on Friday and drink Coca-Cola, some cola? I don't know, you can do whatever you want on Friday. But I don't think Mr. Jeremy of the Greener Lawn is coming on Friday. Bad because he's burned these stripes in like extremely a lot. These ones are really burning this this way. I mow that way like every time. So really, I can change it up. You can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm Go good. for it. Jeremy's doing whatever he wants. It's it's America. Just did a hedge trimming job for my neighbor. It took two hours. Awesome. No, Jer Jeremy's not getting. He's not getting anything. I don't know what he's doing. I really don't know what Jeremy's doing. Apparently, he's mowing the sidewalk. See, what are you doing? Have fun. What are you doing? What? <laughs> There you go. I think we're doing some, I think we're doing some back and forth, some diagonals. I'm gonna move a little closer to the house. Lawn tools! Mr. Dr. Netzel in the house. Very choppy. I don't know why it's choppy. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the Wi-Fi's. Is it better? What about now? Now? I'm a little concerned with what Jeremy's doing. Just got the rotary scissors. Don't, uh, if you don't have, I totally recommend, get the rotary scissors. Those things are awesome. Hey, Cheyenne and Indy. Get. Maybe my lawn is just blurry. It might be. It looks really good on my end. I don't know where Jeremy's phone went. Maybe in his pocket. Hold on. Image is not coming in clear. Jeremy, the image isn't clear. The image isn't clear? Apparently. You need a real phone? Better now. Hey, Scott says it's better. Scott Maybe says it's better. better. Maybe. It got good again. It's good now. Okay, yes, thumbs up. Jeremy's mowing. Those look really good. What are we doing? Are you doing single doubles? I think he's mowing. 
It's good then. All right. Hey, Jeremy is mowing single doubles. I believe. Yeah. So, what's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Single doubles. Use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi over the five. Wow. Will it kick me off if I try to switch? Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I'm on there. I'm on the 2.4 now. How much was that mower? So... That mower, the mower that Jeremy is using is a Toro Greensmaster 1600. And I picked it up used for 800 bucks. Um, and I felt like it was a pretty good deal. It's not, uh, it's not, this mower, this mower is not something that most people are gonna be able to afford to pick up brand new. I think brand new they're like $16,000, $15,000. So, yeah, so 800 bucks on the used market um, is a heck of a deal. Um, and the best part is this mower only has like 400 hours on it. So it was hardly used. Uh, it's a 2008 and uh, 400 hours, so it's like nothing. Um, these trees right here, Tiffany, they are a uh, blossoming cherry tree, like a Japanese cherry tree. So in the spring, they're supposed to blossom with these beautiful pink flowers, but uh, this is only their first year, first summer um, since I planted them. And uh, so they aren't very old, so they didn't flower a ton this year. Um, Super TA says, really wait, like hold it. On. Wait, wait, wait. We've got to have a conversation. What? Your leveling job sucks. Who did this for you? Because <laughs> these stripes, they're, it's just unlevel. It's just like. They are. It is a little unlevel. I'm kidding. I suck at striping. No, the stripes That's look why really I have good. a stripe contest going on. That's the reason why I put your guys' stripes on my channel to make it look good instead of having to put those so stripes. Go over I put. to Jeremy of the Greener Lawns channel. Check out the stripe contest. Send your send in your entry. Yes. To Jeremy of the Greener Lawn at gmail.com. Solid move. Um, if, um, by Saturday, please, just so that we can get that out on the 4th of July weekend. Definitely looking for any kind of stripes. It can be sissy stripes. It can be cheater stripes. He hasn't even entered, so don't even tell me he's going to win it. Um, it can be cheater I didn't know stripes. that I was, I thought Jeremy was excluding me from the contest, but now that I know that I'm not, maybe I'll enter Jeremy's stripes into Jeremy's stripe contest. <laughs> There's a fail. There's, <laughs> he said he wanted to win. And now he's freaking just, good. Well, don't look at it from the other angle. Just look at it from this angle. Love it this from this is, angle. This is a better angle, I think. Though. Oh, it is. It's I great. like the double with the light stripe. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be, I'm going to kind of put him under the bus here. His leveling job does go better this way at this point than well, it does this it's way. It's been rolled like 7 million times back and forth this way. So there you go. There's that. There's the reason I need why. to level it again. But I think. <laughs> Sorry to put you on So blast. what what had happened was, <laughs> see, I, the long uh, story of this is when I leveled with Jeremy, uh, it was pretty good until I put down peat moss everywhere, and especially when I started putting peat and seed and peat and seed and peat and seed to fill in the bare spots. <laughs> now it's like this. So I'll have to level again in the fall probably. We're gonna have to do mine though too. Yeah. We do need to do yours. Because people are saying that I need to real mow mine, and I don't really want to scout It's it. rough. It is. It's rough. It definitely is. Looks right, good. So, so we got to go back to that conversation. We're I feel bad. Back. I know. I know. You want my phone out of my pocket so uh, you can actually yes. see all this? 
Somebody donated eight hundred dollars. That'd be great. <laughs> Jeremy is running my. No, no, we've ar- you're already there. Jeremy, no flip flops. Backwoods oh, Lawn oh, Care oh. said you're ruining his double wides, but they look pretty good. These single doubles look really good. Um, seems to be a little better now. Good. Uh, how wide is the cut? So this is a Toro Greensmaster sixteen hundred, like I said, and the cut is twenty six inches. I don't know why they call it a sixteen hundred. And it's a 26 inch cut, not a 2600. I don't know, but it is a 26 inch cut. I threw my uh, shoes on your bushes. All right. Okay. Just so you know. Um, what kind of tree? I already said that. Uh, really liking that Baron Brug. Also switched from Andersons to Pro P, and I do like it. I like it too. I I honestly, the more I'm doing, the more I like the homogenous prill to know that you're getting. You got to turn the switch back on. There we go. One pull. Oh, yeah. Hey. So, hey. yeah, I really like the program too. Um, Scott, thank you. The lawn is looking really good. Even with Jeremy of the greener lawn. Oh. Sword mids are decent as well. I kind of want one. Sword mids are cool, man. I would love to mess around with a sword mid, but there's not a dealer near me to play with one. And I, man, I just don't know that I could drop that kind of money on a lawnmower without seeing it first. Um, Jeremy's already given up. Uh, let Jeremy out of that shirt. I don't know that you want to see Jeremy. Left Tool said he wants to see you without a shirt on. <laughs> this isn't the Lawn Tools channel. We don't have like shirtless guys on our channel. Nobody wants that left tool. Uh, they're better than Brett Stripe. Those do look really freaking good. Look at them. You know what I wish you would have done? Maybe was continue them into the park strip. Maybe maybe continue into the park strip. Um, hey, don't worry. Striper Man said he's going to come teach you. Striper Man said he's going to come teach you how to mow stripes. Get your cape on. Get out here. You heard him. You heard the man. Get your cape on and fly on out here, Striper man. Um, do you notice any spreading with the RPR? Yes. Uh, I don't know that it's significant, but I have felt like the some of these bare spots have filled in a bunch. Um, Jeremy mowed stripes, but it's Brett's lawn, so they are, therefore they are Brett's stripes. Good point, Andy. That's why I like you. I have Bermuda, I'll never win. Hey, be like the lawn tools, cheater stripes. Cheater stripes are sweet. The stripes look really good. Look at that. Jeff says, everybody drink a beer. Go for it, Jeff. Um, are you guys and Jimmy all neighbors? Um, kind of. We all live in Utah. Jeremy is about 15 minutes south of me. Jimmy is about an hour south of me. And Connor is about an hour and a half north of me. Pest and Lawn Ginja is around where Jimmy is. And Mr. John Perry is up in the mountains up in uh, Park City area. Um, Oh, you, you you heard of some top dressing, and it helped with leveling, did you, Kenny? Somebody should do that here. Uh, <laughs> I saw that, Kenny. I appreciate that. Steady Matt! What up, bro? Hey, Matt, the Goyer, what's up? How come you don't see anybody cutting zoysia? Well, we don't have zoysia here in Utah. We are... Cool season turf. That one got a little funky. That what? That one got a little funky. Even <laughs> too long to load. I knew it just because this where the camera was. I had to show him how crooked up to the there. Jeremy's bowing some some, some, some uh, uh, what does Ben call him? Wobbly dobs. Wobble dobs? Yeah, a little bit of wobble on the outside. Jeremy's doing his Ben Sims tribute with his uh, with his lawn tip shirt on. Our channel, yeah, this is Jeremy's channel too, Lazy. Um, 
Tell Jeremy thanks for the greener green. He'll know what I mean. Matt said he can't hear me. I'll tell him. Ryan Norris some competent. Jeremy is competition for Mr. Ryan Norris. Um, you will have one to play with for a few. Hey, hey. Don't you tease me with a good time, Joe. Um, it is, man, it's, it's super cool to have Jeremy so close and Jimmy so close and Connor so close and, uh, Pest and Lawn Ginger and John. It's not, it's really nice to have all these guys really close. Uh, super tight community. I don't know what Jeremy's doing here. Uh, get Connor to get, my lawn's not big enough for a drag and a four wheeler, Andy. Um, <laughs> the, the, it's not Jeremy of the straighter line stripes lawn. He's, he's, he's working with it. When are you dropping by Nebraska? Any day now, lazy. So what's up, man? What's happening? What do we think of Jeremy's single doubles? I think they turned out pretty good. They're pretty good. I like the single doubles. How much gas does a greens master burn? You know, you know what, Andy? You'd be shocked. But I fill up the gas tank on this mower to mow this lawn. I can probably mow this lawn like 15 times on one gas tank. These things sip gas. Cause they're, I mean, you're, all it's doing, it's not turning a heavy blade. It's not, it's not putting a huge load on the engine. All it's doing is turning a little belt and it, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty easy on the old gasoline. Are you still at three quarters? Yeah, I'm still at three quarters of an inch. Um, probably, I, I want to take it down, honestly, in like the next week or so. I think I'm going to drop it down about 0.65. I think that's the plan. So I think that's where I'm going to live most of the summer is at about 0.65. Got, got some intruders. Where's, where has Fred's yes been? You know, um, I don't know. I don't know that Mike wants me talking about his situation too, too much, but uh, his, uh, Mike, Mike had a, a member of his family pass away last year and uh, I know, I know that's been really hard for him. So I don't know. I would love for Fred's yes to come back because Mike is the man. I absolutely love Mike. Um, but yeah, yeah. So my, he hasn't been around for a little while. It's really, it's unfortunate. Um, uh, Brett, who are you using to sharpen your real and bed knife? Um, turf and irrigation company out of, uh, West Valley, Matt. Um, what are your plans for the Prairie Project? Ah, oh, man. So I have not had a ton of time lately because I've been mowing my grass every day. And uh, I need to get out there more often and mow it more frequently. Um, and hit, hit the weeds. In. But overall, most of the fertilizers look about the same. So I need to get out there more, though. Uh, I can cut my lawn 5,000 square feet four times on one tank of gas, Toro Recycler, one quart full tank. That's not bad, Mr. Andy. I will not trade you for your 25 inch California trimmer. Looks pretty good. I agree. I agree, Joe. Jeremy did a great job. Looky, look. <laughs> All right. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Jeremy, what you doing? Now you like miss the spot. You miss the spot. 
He missed the spot. They don't say I missed the spot. That ain't cool. He missed the spot. That isn't even nice. Talking crap in their neighbor walking by. <laughs> Sorry, I won't run you it's alright, there's there's only a couple people. Only you know this guy, you know this guy, sorry. Uh ask this guy, he's the stiller. He wants no golf course, he's still the Uh I did well, it was on a golf course at some point, but I got it from a dealer. Believe that if you want though. Only if you want. My dealer. Uh, yeah, go down and go down and see uh, double cut. Hey, they said you, you're supposed to double cut it. You know how long it just took me? How long are we into this? Twenty six <laughs> minutes. This is like a thousand square feet. Maybe it's twenty five hundred square feet. You're trying to make me feel better. It's like ten feet, and it, the camera just exactly. Dude, look at Richard says zigzags. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do those. No. Teach us, Richard. Come on out. That. Yeah, I'd love that. Jenny says you need to submit those stripes to yourself. <laughs> um, go on the other side and you won't want me to submit. They look pretty good from over here. Now watch this reaction. Dead serious. Watch this reaction. It's going to be great. <laughs> like I said, up here, it looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie to you. Down there... It gets pretty close. Yeah, he's going to burn them in. So let's see. Matt. All right. I know. What'd you do? What'd you do? Not mow in two days? That bag's almost full, and he hasn't mowed in two days. Your PGR isn't working. Okay. So let's see what we got. Who do we have? I don't know where he uh, took off from, of course. I kind of told him that he did. I'll trade you with my 25 inch trigger. Looks pretty good. Don't lie, Jerome Mattis. Don't even have to do that. Oh well, we wish him well. I don't know who we're wishing well, but that works. Thanks for the tip. Sharpen my reel so I can hang with your masterpiece. <laughs> Not after I'm done with it. Once I'm done with it, it's no more masterpiece. But that's the way I can make him so that he doesn't win this strike contest. Everybody keeps thinking he's going to win it. He volunteered the wrong person. Let's see those clippings in the basket full. Okay, we'll go catch up with that really quick. You know, it doesn't, I'm gonna lose the connection. It's gonna look like crap. Oh, is it? Oh yeah. You're gonna get yelled at. Well, I can't get yelled at. Hopefully you saw that. Connection still looks good on this side. Hopefully it's not too horrible. So we'll put it back by the house. He says, oh. You want to know this, um, the secret to uh, a good stripe is the second pass. As soon as you put in that second pass, look at the difference over here, how dark and how light. How dark, how light. Yeah, you got to go over it a few times, burn them in. All right, so circle pattern. You got an encore for a circle pattern after you're done. Circle pattern. Huh? Circle pattern next. Oh, yeah, okay. He says okay, right so he's uh, he's going to get right on that. Uh, that. Plug some soil. Like uh, zigzags, no. Maker green, yes, always maker green. Um, go over that pattern in a circle pattern. D D L V H. 007 said it i don't know that one thanks for the gift the other day jeremy not a problem brother glad you enjoyed it on camera they look good i know that's why we put them on camera nice work just give him the gears double cut that he's on it double cut that stripe shorter or cut that double stripe shorter connection is good probably changing the wi-fi to 2.4 helped you can't really help this uh these androids can you is that mower really that quiet seems to be it's not too bad but we don't have it up really high like he has a lot higher than i do and in the background there's a riding lawnmower over here that's stealing a lot of our noise thunder so he's getting most of the noise brett's is whispering over here circles nice no <laughs> he says no i didn't say no i could screw it up really quick 
I want the bullseye burned in there. Kenny. He'll do it. Bring that Toro for a test drive here in Jersey in my KBG. Good grass choice. Love the grass choice. Considering pulling the trigger this fall on the Alliant Liberty 43. If you have the space. Zigzag pattern. It's either circles or zigzag. They're calling for an encore. <laughs> he says we're sticking with this. The view from the driveway was the best. Okay, we can try that. Uh, go over there. That view. Brett joined the the mountain Wi-Fi, so I can't move from right here. We move from here, we have no we have no connection. Yes. He still will blame me for that second, even though he's going over it the first time. It won't happen tonight because he was being nice, but as soon as I leave, that's going to be all over his channel. When are you going to put a, a real mower on my lawn? It's got to have it um, leveled big time. I tried one last year. It was a patch job. Um, of course, I wasn't using it for real um, purposes, but yeah, that's the way it goes. Yes, I tried the driveway over there. He doesn't get the Wi-Fi over there. It actually kind of sucks. Uh, so it's this view or nothing. And uh, you can see how my stripes are beautiful. But he's making the second pass, so now I have the opposite. I'll get him to do that. That he will do. Um, DV or DLVH. He'll definitely do that. They want you to go the opposite way now with your stripes. Yeah. For the diamonds. You go faster than I do. This has been like three minutes. It's almost like you do this every day. He's got mountain Wi-Fi. Mountain Wi-Fi sucks. It's probably because my phone actually is hooked onto his Wi-Fi. Let me pull my phone off. So I'm streaming off of his Wi-Fi. He probably can't have two things on at the same time. There we go. Thank goodness of is here bringing up the quality of this content. I agree. Uh oh, we have some uh, some looky loos back here. They're dancing. They got some moves. Go ahead, get some more Fortnite on. Get it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. None of that of of of. Shut it down. Shut it down. I'm saying the mower. Oh, the mower. The oh, mower. I was like, we're shutting this down? I'm like, we'll go quick. So what's up? What are we looking at? How's everybody doing? Did everybody leave? Mm, still at 40. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we have? <laughs> Falcon. How do I get rid of Falcon? <laughs> Put user in timeout. Bye! He was telling me that he liked me. So, <laughs> is that why he got banned? Falken just got banned because no, he liked me? No, no. Falken got banned because he's Falken. There's rules around here, Jeremy. I'm trying to figure out at what level we are here. Rule number one. Falken goes in timeout anytime he shows up. So, should we use my phone now? Yes. Okay. All right, we're pulling so, up Jeremy's phone so that we can just talk. So how did the stripes turn out? How did they look on camera? Do they look good? How do I turn this around? That's still me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty sexy shot of you, though. Woo! I really that, one. that was a good one. Look at those stripes, Jeremy. I gotta say, I laid the groundwork for pretty sexy stripes. They do look good. Uh, let's see. They Stevie turned out says, really hey, good. Hey, Hotel Brad, I say hi. Stevie Dale. Stevie, what's up? Tiffany says, uh, Richard Davenport. That's what she said. <sighs> what did she say? Here, put Jeremy in the shot. You don't want to see just my ugly face. Yeah. 
looks really good. It does look good. Yeah, that was from Drone Madness. Let's see, Andy's in the market for a new spreader. Any suggestions? What is your price range? He asked about the Earthway 2600 and the Echo RB60. So from what I've seen, Andy, the Echo RB60. I don't even know this one. It's like a hundred bucks. But everybody who has one loves them. I think at a hundred bucks, if you're wanting to stay like at that hundred bucks threshold, man, that's money. Um, Earthway makes a decent product. I've used Earthway spreaders. Jeremy, I believe, has used Earthway spreaders. Over here. Um, Jimmy had an Earthway spreader for a long time. Alan loves Earthway. Um, you can't, I don't think Earthway makes terrible spreaders. So if you want to go with the Earthway, go with the Earthway. All right, so then we have John the Nemesis. Let's see, every time Stevie Dell make merch, I'll buy it. He has shirts. I do. It's on right there. Oh, well, this sexy. isn't my shirt. Oh, is it not? This was from Amazon. Oh, that one's from Amazon, but he has one. <laughs> you it's can quite buy that similar one. to it. You can buy that That's, one on uh, Amazon. It has a little bit more to it, right? Mm -hmm. Yours? Yeah. It, it says your name? Yeah. Link in the description below. Oh, shoot me an email. And, I do have these hats, so if you're looking for any of my merch, I do have these hats and I do have shirts. My links will not be in his description no, down below. I could put them there, but That'd I'm be probably nice. not going to. Oh, I hate it. Um, Let's see. What do we got? Uh, Vinny. Hello from Nebraska. What up, Vinny? What up? what up, what up? The stripes turned out awesome, thanks to Jeremy. Um, and the double pass. It, second pass didn't hurt. Definitely always makes them pop, just as we were showing. Yep. So, Tiffany. What Tiffany said something. Well, I'm, I'm all the way up here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Super TA says, Brett, on the Orby Wi-Fi, you'll get 100% satisfied. What is that? Yeah. Uh, Richard again, ever speak. tried the Alliot? Um, uh, so I have used an Alliot. Um, I say it wrong every single time. Alliot, Alliot, whatever you uh, want to call it. Uh, Pest and Lawn Ginger has one. And I went down to his house a month ago, roughly. And uh, I used his Alliot for 10, 15 minutes, just real quickly. Um, is that Falcon again? Connor Ward rules. That's got to be fucking. <laughs> Get rid of that guy. Let's see. Connor Ward rules. I like that. It's got to be fucking. Can't get rid of me that easily, Brett. Yeah, yeah that's that fucking. <laughs> oh, I can get rid of you, fucking. <laughs> Hold on. Where'd you go? All right. Looking to spend 150 from Andy. Uh, uh, maybe around 175. That's that spreader question. Yeah, the RB60 would be a good choice. And uh, you know, I think I think the twenty six hundred would be a, a good choice too. Neither of those are going to be bad choices. So if that answers your question, Andy. Yeah, the one that I'd recommend is outside of that range. Yeah, I mean, it, it really. But it's really if, bigger than a homeowner really if needs. You're, In so, my front yard, it's it's pretty huge. Right. So if you're a homeowner, I don't think you need more than a than a. Uh, what you might call a earthway. I don't think depending you need... on size of your lawn. Let's, yeah. let's say it that way. Like with my front lawn, it's only 1,800 square feet in the front. It looks bigger, but it's really not. So that's why I'm limited on different choices. And with my spiker, that can throw up to like 12 to 14 feet, and it can just get way out of hand really quickly. You have Arch to walk strips, slow. Yeah, you really do. It can go down to like four feet, but even at four feet, it's still pretty shady. Um, so if you can get some of those ones that are more designed for your yard, that's what you really have to look at is find one that's designed for the width of your yard versus just saying which one's the best. Narrow it down from and, that point. And then you need to understand what your usage of a spreader is going to be. Are you going to be someone that uses a spreader every couple weeks to spoon feed your lawn? Or are you somebody that uses a spreader every six to eight weeks? and puts down fertilizer that way. Like, cause if you're putting down fertilizer every six to eight weeks, it's nice honestly, to have a nicer one. Like, or it's nice yeah. to have a, a homeowner grade. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to get something other than like a Scott spreader because guess what? Like 90% of fertilizer bags have the Scott spreader settings on them. Makes so if easy. you're, if you're every six to eight weeks kind of guy, grab a Scott spreader, they're gonna work fine. Literally millions of people have them. Cool. Like. You can't, you can't go wrong with it. 
you can go wrong. I mean, just make sure that you inspect your equipment. Make sure it's running optimally. Make sure that you're not seeing any kind of problems. If you are, they're cheap enough to where you can replace them pretty easily. It's a throwaway spreader. It is. A season or two for like 40 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever they are, like throw it away. Mm -hmm. Get a new one if it stops working. But if you're somebody that's going to get into lawn care, like really get into it heavy, Invest, feeding. invest in a spreader that has pneumatic tires. That's, I mean, that's the, that's the entry point. And then you can start going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. If you want to get into something that's, you know, like Jeremy Spiker or my Anderson or the Lesco or something like that, you can do it. You can use it on a lawn like this. My lawn is 5,000 square feet. Michael, shut up. Um, I like it. Good call, Michael. Good call. <laughs> he saw that one pop up. Um, my lawn is 5,000 square feet, and the, the spreader that I have is far too big for it. But I love how smooth it is, and I love how precisely I can dial it in. It is not the longest. It's only 21 minutes. That was the highest pitch voice I've ever heard this guy have. <laughs> Holy crap. I think dogs just were howling oh, off. 21 man. minutes. <laughs> wow. You settled but, down. Over all there. right. All right. So all right. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. So the, the 20 minute worth of Spiker versus other spreaders and Lesco and all these things, we're going to move on. Um, are you going to name your mower like the LCN did? No. Okay. Next question. You'd love the Spiker. Too much money. Understood. Are you going to cut Jeremy's lawn now? I, I need to. He does. He really does. To. His favorite thing about it is the personal pace system. He falls in love with it every time he uses it. All right. So no, it's fun. So it's funny is when I used the uh, the personal pace for the first time, I freaking hated it. True. I hated it. True. I did not want to use it. But the more I've used it, the more dang it, Falcon's back. <laughs> The more I've used it, the more I like it. And now I can understand why people like Jeremy and Alan and other people that use this say that the personal pace Amazing. is awesome. Because it really is. Once you get used to it, you're just walking mm -hmm. and the mower just mows. Because what it does is it goes off of your push against it. What people don't try to do is they try to push it with their arms, hold your arms stiff and then walk. Once you stop, it stops. But if you're doing this number, it's going to make it go pushy. It You've got to feels, lock in. It feels really weird at first. So you need to get used to it. Once you lock it in, you're good. Though. You figure it out, and it's awesome. Uh, forgot to say hi from Michigan. Hi, Michigan. Hello from Los Angeles. What's up, Los Angeles? That would be Raul. Um, come down to Georgia and cut my lawn. Too humid. I Too love Georgia. Too humid. I need to come to Georgia. Way I'd love humid. to go back to Georgia soon, soon. I'll be back in Georgia soon. Do we both do lawns for a living? No. Neither of us do lawns for a living. Mm -mm. No, both of us have a different job. Let's see. Question, which grass is the best? Two choices, obviously. Common or hybrid Bermuda? <laughs> the weed? The weed? How would you even put that in the best? Like, that's a weed. You don't know. So no. literally, fun fact about Utah, in Utah, Bermuda grass is. is listed as a weed, as a grass type that you are not allowed to grow. They can only use it on, for, um, um, uh, I want to say fertigation, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that right because I have my fertigation system on my mind. Um, I don't know what There we about. go. Irrigation um, trenches. That's where they use them to keep them from eroding. They, uh, that's how come we get it in our secondary water a lot is because they have it on irrigation a lot. I have some down there in the corner of my lawn because of that. All right. So now I just lost it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hello from the last time. There we are. Um, hey, real Bob Shady. Hey, real Bob Shady. Other factors include my lawn is 5,000 square feet. I'm five foot three, again with Andy. Um, I just got a Chapin spreader that's consistent or considered commercial, but actually just as nice as a homeowner unit. Nice, good stuff, Kenny. Start modest on the equipment and work your way up. True, I like that. Yep. Kentucky bluegrass is looking good, as always, definitely. <laughs> that was the one he already reacted to. Um, 
I use it every four weeks for pesticide fertilizer, again with the, this, um, the spreader. Longest live stream ever, we've already answered that. Um, Orby is a wireless router by Netgear. Nice. Hey, send me an email about that. I need to know about making my Wi-Fi's internet signal better. Yes. Because it sucks out here. Yes. True. It sucks. Like, really bad. So I'd love to know more. Uh, you two guys need to come up with the right and left tools knockoff name. Give the lawn tools some competition. I think we're better than the lawn tools. I think the lawn tools is trying to keep up with us. Uh, yes. 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 I agree. <laughs> What's the longest you've ever took? With the Toro. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> Wow, that's Keep a setup. That PG. That's, that's We're a keeping setup this question. PG. How? Justin? Was that Justin? No, that, that was like a Justin ZG. Thing. That ZG's just as bad as Justin. Hello from Idaho. What's going on up north? Hey, my email, Brett Goodyear123 at gmail.com. It's down, it's in the description of 123. literally. 123, that's 123. I know. <laughs> It sounds fancier when I say it that way. <laughs> it's in the description of every single video. Obviously, you people never go down to the description. There's a lot of cool stuff down there that you can learn. All right, moving on. Yeah, the Lawn Whisperer caught a hold of that. Oh, yeah, of course he did. Took. That's what she asked. Yes. <laughs> Glad that she asked it. Bermuda for president. That must have been real, Bob. What? Get out of here. Exactly. I'm going to start blocking real Bob, just like I block fucking. YouTube's uh, going to think I'm saying something else. I know. <laughs> F-O-K-K-E-N. That's right. This is... Fucking. Yes. Yes. Who is John Falken? A, a nobody. That guy. A nobody. I like the guy. This I, guy doesn't like the get guy. Get out of here. He's blocked. Yes, I didn't block him. Every time I see him. Let's see. You two need to name your mowers like the LCN. That's his thing. Don't need to take his stuff. He's he's got his own deal. There's if, there's plenty of Allen to go around. Exactly. Tons of Allen to go around. How do you gentlemen combat heat stress on your turf, especially when it's cut so low? So Jeremy cuts it so high. I'm at two and a half inches this year. <laughs> that is really I'm, low. I, it is really low for me. I'm rocking the full two and a half inches, and I'm proud of my two and a half inches. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Best comment ever. Best comment so ever. So for heat stress, what I do is, number one, we're in the desert, and in order to grow grass here, you have to have irrigation. You just have to. There's no way to do it here without. You just you have to have an irrigation system. So I have an irrigation system, number one. Um, number two, I uh, on days that are really hot, like today, Today, the high was like 93, mm -hmm. something like that. Correct. And anytime it's over 85, 90 degrees, somewhere around there, uh, during the middle of the day, the hottest part of the day, like two o'clock-ish, three o'clock-ish, I will run my sprinklers for like five minutes a zone just to kind of cool down the turf. It's not doing anything when it comes to actually like watering. All it's going to do is help bring down the ground temps and keep my roots from frying so i do that um i have used hydrotain in the past jeremy actually just put out a video about hydrotain works really well in uh, desert like conditions like this even though we have very low humidity it does pull that moisture down from the air even with our low humidity so hydrotain you can pick it up on do my own you can pick it up on yard mastery a lot of times you can find it local as well, um, but hydrotain uh, or a wetting agent, whatever whatever you can find. But hydrotain is something that I've used. I haven't used, I haven't dove into the wetting agent thing. Baby uh, shampoo works really well for that kind of stuff. Any kind of laryl sulfate, any kind of um, uh, surfactants, anything like that work extremely well. Just to be able to get the um, the water down and into the root zone versus sitting up on the top helps out quite a bit. Yeah. So. That's my that's my answer for combating heat stress. I don't it when you water, um, if if you start watering every single day, 
you're going to encourage your roots to stay shallow and it's eventually going to have a negative effect on your lawn. So continue with your infrequent deep watering to have your roots going deep and then supplement with a cool down zone and uh, I saw that. something like a, uh, like a hydrotain. That's what I do. Left tool in the house. I wish left tool would bring back the mullet. Yeah, yeah. This tool still watching Cheech and Chong from left tool. Left tool. Tools have southern weed grass. They do. I agree. They do. Uh, backwards lawn. You guys started watching. Who was the first lawn care guy you guys started watching? <laughs> LCN. That's kind of just who my choices were when I started watching. Um, and then I got into people like Matt Martin. And then I started following. And then people just started to um, come in like Pete, Denny, those guys. Those are who I um, started watching. And then um, as I started watching, Ben popped up. Different um, creators started popping up. Now you've got a lot of choices. You have a lot of different things that can fit your need, fit your itch. That's the cool thing. And the cool thing about now is there's so many different choices. Like exactly. it used to, you used to just kind of have Alan, right? And Alan was your go-to guy for everything. And now you've got guys that have every grass type under the sun. You got Kentucky bluegrass, you have perennial rye with guys like me and Ryan. You have turf type tall fescue with the lawn whisperer. You got, you know, Bermuda with the lawn tools and other places like that. Um, so there's tons of choices. I think the first person that I watched, honestly, was Alan as well. And then shortly thereafter, Connor, because I wanted to take my lawn lower and lower, and then it turned into this. Exactly. Good question. Definitely a question. You guys have fun. See you at a real Bob Shady. It's probably been long enough that you're not on here anymore. Probably. Um, let's see. Is it possible to go strictly with liquid fur feeding versus granulate? Yes. That's how a lot of professional programs are actually ran is off of the liquid. So if professionals can do it, we can definitely do it. Oh, fuck and it's back. Hold on. getting another block. So if the professional can do it, us as homeowners, we can definitely do it. And yes, there are a lot of programs and a lot of products out there that can definitely do that for us. And there's more, something that a lot of people don't understand is there are way more products than just the products that people talk about on YouTube. Like, you can go to your local ag store and pick up products from there. They're going to have liquid fertilizers. They're going to have granular fertilizers. Same thing with places like Do My Own and other online stores. There are way more products to find something that really works for you. You know, because putting down something that works good in my lawn might not work as great in your lawn because your lawn is different than mine. So. That's why a lot of people recommend get a soil test, figure out what your lawn actually needs, figure out what your soil actually needs, and then find the right thing for those needs. Instead of just saying, hey, you know, I'm going to buy bag XYZ, the internet man said works great. You know, buy what works for you, buy what you need. That's my, my little speech. Super TA says, appreciate the stream, guys. Nothing on TV worth watching. I don't know that this is worth watching either, but hey, we have 53 people. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about that. That definitely works. Let's see. Um, Jeremy needs to um, print a shirt with the phrase, I'm proud of my two and a half inches. We can make that happen. <laughs> I might make that happen for Jeremy. So I, I can do it, but you better prepay for it. That's all I have to say. I'll pay for it. All right. So. Uh, Jeremy, my hydrotain granules come in tomorrow. Thanks for the video on that. You're welcome, Super TA. Um, I have literally begged my wife to let me have a little mullet again. I'll give y'all a guess to her response. That would be left tool. Rock Aww. it anyways. But welcome to the first year of marriage. <laughs> hey, I'm on year 10. My wife still tells me I can't have a mullet. <laughs> I've, never, <laughs> I've never had that problem. Have you tried? Nope. You should. You, you should. I'll post a vid or a picture of me with long hair. Like I'll do it on my story on Instagram. You guys will think that that is super nice. I think I posted it. I actually have. 
repost it. I'll repost it. Hey, you guys get to see that. Everyone needs to see that. Yeah, yeah. We'll if you're not it. following Jeremy on Instagram, follow him for gyms like that. Yeah. So let's see. I gotta take the pain meds. Love you guys. Love you too, Drill Madness. See you, Joe. Big and small tools could be your new name. Who's He'll take name? small tools. <laughs> I'm not the one bragging about two and a half inches. <laughs> What's your blade length? <laughs> It's about the thickness, <laughs> not the length. All right. So she said if she could have one too, let's see. Yeah, probably. If she could have one too, then you could rock one left tool. How hard is it to film yourself mowing? So it's, <laughs> when you're filming yourself mowing, it is way more time consuming than it would be to just do this without filming. Severely. Like, there's a lot of times, there's a lot of times, especially since I mow like every single day that I don't film myself mowing. I know a lot of guys. Being creeped on, you know. I know. It's, okay. it's a bunch of weird Aryan looking children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> God, this is your channel. <laughs> Little blonde haired, blue eyed kids like Jeremy. <laughs> Next. Get out of here. Are you the camera's right? facing this way. <laughs> Let's see. Don't go on the road. Mullet, There's mullet. cars coming. The wrong way. The sand leveling also helps water get down to the root zones better. Correct. Yes. Sand will let it penetrate down. Correct. True. Next question. We're knocking these out. I know. Big or long. Or let's see. Too bad the LCN moved to South Florida. Gives us a different feel. He has his northern videos that you can go back and flip through and he's still And they're chill. way cooler because he has a green screen. <laughs> he has green screen lately though. Yeah, that, but, I, no, I, I but, not, not, but not but not old school green screen, white sunglasses, green screen. Oh yeah. Those were great. Those were definitely great. I like the long sleeve uh collared shirt, white sunglasses, Alan Hain. You know, the first time I ever watched him, I thought that he was pitchy and like I selzy and I just I was like I got to go back and find the video because I, I got to give him crap about it because the very first time I ever saw him, I was like, oh man, I can't do this guy. And then I found him like a few, uh, like a year later video. And I was like, this dude rocks. And then I realized that I put it all together. I was like, oh, <laughs> this was the same guy. Um, so yeah, understood. Let's see. Is it bad to water my, uh, water my water every day? Yeah. You don't need to water your water. It's already wet. If you don't need to water your water ever. <laughs> Correct. I live in a hot part of California. Not sure if I should water every day or stagger days. I have Bermuda grass and we have a hundred degree heat in the summer. You don't have to water any grass type every single day. You want those roots to go down deep. And if you're watering every single day, you're drying those roots shallow. And as soon as they dry out the roots that are shallow, it's going to start browning out your grass. So you want to water infrequently, but deeply to make those roots chase after that water going down deep. Plus, Bermuda loves heat. Exactly. Like, that's when it thrives. You're in, like, prime time mm -hmm. Bermuda growing season. So, hit it with some nitrogen. Water it every couple of days. It'll, it'll be money. That's what I've heard, at least. What are you guys expecting to spend on a soil test? Just spent $88. Was that for only one area? $88? Wow. If it's multiple, I could see, like, maybe two, possibly three, depending depending on the test, but one, I've seen some pretty comprehensive uh, tests that are around like $35 down to like $25. But yeah, $88, unless it's super comp. Yes, was that just one I, test? Yeah, I think that's what she's saying. Ouch. Yeah, I think you got ripped off. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what what is what soil test that you use. Yeah. Um, do you ever, or do you film every mo? No. No, I don't even film close. I, I don't do a lot of mowing content. He says also, what about when you're whacking it or blowing it? Is it filmed every time? Who was that? Same Z. Z, Z. <laughs> you're going to get this stream demonetized by YouTube. Once again, glad you're following him. <laughs> uh, <that's> follow Jerry. <laughs> Go right follow the, Jerry. Is it, is it, Hit the so, subscribe button. So, uh, Justin, question for you. Every time he says something, you're right underneath it with that's what she said. Um, Justin's always alternate, <laughs> alternate personality. 
Uh, what's going on there? Justin? Yes? Or you can go with the two and a half inch man. Oh, nice. Yes, you definitely can go with the two and a half inch man. You don't have to go with the half an inch or whatever he is. Three quarters? Mm -hmm. yeah. Every quarter matters. Hey, at that point in time, right? <laughs> definitely. Let's see. How long have you guys known each other? We were talking about that today. I think it was two years. Yeah, it's, this is uh, it's summer number three. So it's been two years. Met him when we did a meetup down in, in Salt Lake. Um, it was with uh, Connor, myself, the Ginja, John was there, and, uh, and that's where we met. He was sitting over there, and somebody uh, was whispering, saying that it was the uh, that it was a certain person, and it definitely look, was a certain look. person. We got lucky Liz. And we're even sitting here on the porch. What the heck? Should look we, at those stripes. Should we? Should we? Knock Woo! Them on? Go knock should on their we, window, Jeremy. Should, we, should I? No, <laughs> don't go knock on their window. <laughs> Is she lost? Are you lost? Oh, you're for painting. She's here for painting. Hey, apparently I'm selling a painting. All right, hold on. Right. He dared me to do it. He's here for a painting. I don't know what that even means. He's got this fancy tripod that I don't even know how to use. So like, I'm not even gonna be in this shot. All right, so we'll keep going. Let's see, Texas A&M on the top, top line. I guess I don't know everything they offer. Send it to me. I'll see what you have. Lawn whisper, lawn whisper, don't approach. Let's see, wife selling stuff online didn't tell you happens to that's true that actually is true wife was selling something hey what's going on uh let's see you're trying too hard zg you're trying way too hard she's coming okay she's, i don't know what she's getting it's not the first time brett's ever yelled that um, Shut up, <laughs> let's see. This is a PG live stream. Oh. Let's you go. Go. Let's, yeah. What do you? Are we um, gonna turn this off, anybody? It's your live stream. I'm just here for the candy. There's still 49 people here. I what know. Are they, what are you doing here with your life? That you're still here watching me and Jeremy, like. Oh, see, even Justin's leaving. See you, Justin. My wife is getting rid of... Huh? She played peekaboo. What? She popped out and then she ran. Oh. My wife's getting rid of, like, my favorite picture. <laughs> uh, when you have a mowing fetish, you get rid of all your other stuff, and that's what I end up with. Go buy another lawnmower. You'll pro you probably would have that painting still if if I'd stopped buying lawnmowers. Correct. So you would have your favorite painting. I kind of want to see it. It's a picture of like a cow. It's a picture of a cow? Yeah. Are you sure it's not a llama? Because you just said llama. No, it's a cow. It's a cow. I want to see it. Hey, can you turn the picture around for us? Your wife will get mad if I flip that. Oh, out. yeah. yeah she'll... <laughs> I was going to flip it. No, she'll... All right, let's see. I'm so mad that you're selling that picture. I love that picture. <laughs> you sold it because he bought another mower, didn't you? I was given that one mower. <laughs> <laughs> was that the, uh, the golf course lawn mower? The one that was missing from before? No. Oh. That one's been here. Oh, well, I've had that for like a year and a half. First time I've mowed with it. I, well, you know, you don't come up, say hi very often. I was in the live stream with you, what, two weeks ago? A week ago? Okay. Yeah. All right. Touche. We need to make this kind of a weekly thing. I, I think thinking. this is a weekly stream now. I like it. The people have demanded it, Jeremy. <laughs> you <laughs> what, and me? 51 people 
I pointed out <laughs> Fortnite just to see that you said that. People are like, thumbs down on that video. Yeah, it went down to 48. They're but like, there's 48 this is people weekly. and only 11 thumbs up. That's messed up. I think you should give his uh, stream a thumbs up right now. Let's see if we can get it. Ah, yeah, I got one. Did you see <laughs> that? Like, I don't even. I didn't even know I had. To, oh, Joe, two. Joe, there we go. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I didn't, Sixteen. They're coming up. Wow. That's all I have to say is thumbs up this video. Oh, what? Is that how it works? <laughs> what about what if we try nineteen? Hey, there's a there's a donate button in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Been, that's why this I'm is on his channel because he was jealous because when i did it the other week he was like you got you got a lot of people donation. paid, paid yeah, jeremy paid me to see his face yeah it was after the uh it was after that two and a half inches comment it from was. my lawn length <laughs> i got paid for the two and a half inches hello from canada how's it going doug are you the one hitting all the thumbs up either way hey we appreciate it that was really so nice. i knew super, super ta i can count on that guy or thumbs up every time. Hey, look, there's exactly. a hummingbird on top of my tree. That's cool. Yeah, it's just hovering. I'm gonna hover. There it goes. Pick off. There it goes. Just finished uh, mowing. I like that. Oh, yeah. Tiffany, stop it. I thought I was totally joking. Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, I'm out here, fellas. Bored. Uh, sorry, A Bear. Who's bored? A Bear. Get out of here. Can you and Brett come, um, come to Chicago? That's a long ways away. <laughs> he said yes to Georgia, but says um, Chicago. I lived in Georgia. It's my house. Gotcha. I'd much <laughs> rather do that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look. Everyone say hi to Hayes, the Vivint guy. I'm the Vivint guy. Knocking door to door on every house in the neighborhood. That doesn't have... A live stream going on, right? What the heck? Hayes, the Vivint guy. Yeah, uh, you're the only one so far with the live stream. But... <laughs> Sorry. We'll try to make it more popular next time. Throw out my phone number on there. They'll text me if they want something. Hey, yeah, what, exactly. throw it out there. Throw it out. Security, we're covering all the upfront costs. You hear that? 541-350-5492. That's boom. Hayes, the Vivint guy. Boom. See ya, Hayes. He came for the cell and stopped for the stripes. It he dro he dropped trash in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, man. I'm in quarantine right now and have nothing but time. I agree. Who? That's how come we're sitting so close to. <laughs> this is this is why we're getting shut back down in Utah. Yeah, exactly. Jeremy won't. Jeremy won't, won't stay, stay away from me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, just sharing porch time with you guys. Hey, it's a decent thing to do. Anyone's welcome. Porch time with Jeremy and Brad. Well, I was working and watching you. Now I'm driving, typing, and watching. Knock it off. Who's <laughs> driving and typing and watching? How hard up are you? Kenny Koopa. Kenny, stop it. Isn't the lawn whisperer supposed to be on vacation? Well, what else do you have better to do when you're on vacation and talk about grass and watch people mowing their grass and doing live streams? Seems like a better thing to do than playing in a lake catching a little crappie. I'm just saying. Yeah, hmm? posting on Instagram and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Get off the no internet. No one has been putting out content, so we have you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's why we're hey, doing it. Hey, that's as good a, a good an answer as any. I like Nobody it. else is doing anything, so I guess this is what we get. What time is it there? Been dark here in Jersey for two hours. I don't know what that. It's eight fifty-three. All right, we have seven minutes, and I'm shutting this down. Yes, yes. My wife is probably going to be like. He says he'll shut it down either at seven minutes or at fifty thumbs ups. I like that's it. That's a lot of thumbs ups. It's half. We're like, at twenty-four. The halfway. Minus. Yeah. One. Minus one. Forty-niners are off. All right, so let's go with, uh, what time is there? What's the best spot weed control for stubborn crabgrass or other broad leaf? In what grass type? True. So in cool season lawns, um, for crabgrass, your best option is something that has quinclorac in it. Yep. Um, now that can be a three-way, like, 
Speed Zone? No, Speed Zone doesn't have Quinclorac. Uh, Q4 has Quinclorac in it. Um, you can get it in like a three-way or a four-way like Quinclorac with, uh, with or Speed Zone or golly, I cannot talk. Q4, which has Quinclorac and three other things, uh, Sulfentrazone, 2,4-D, and Dicamba, maybe? Yes. So that's going to be a good coverall for something like a cool season line. As far as warm season turf goes. Cool season grass, Quinclorac, yes. Yes, yes. Quinclorac is the way to go. So if, it's, if you're just targeting uh, crabgrass, that's the best crabgrass uh, chemical that you can put down, in my opinion. Uh, there are other options. If you're seeding and you're having uh, crabgrass issues, you can put down tenacity. Tenacity will uh, will target that as well without hurting the seed, and that's the only thing that you can use when you're seeding. If you're not seeding, I 100% say go with something with quinclorac in it. Correct. Um, Oh, what's up? Like three seconds ago. Kenny Cooper says, you guys know Tiffany here is starting a channel. I think she deserves a shout out for that one. Yeah, she's redoing she that lawn. She's redoing her lawn and she's going to be throwing a lot of fire into that thing in the middle of summer. But she has a warm season turf. So, so. check her out. Yeah, she's on there. Click on her channel. Check her out. Uh, let's see. Love them stripes. We agree. Jer Look. Even Jeremy did a great job with those stripes. Go back to the beginning of this live stream. You'll get to watch me do it for the first 20 minutes and him do it for the last three for the double pass. <laughs> you guys going to the Trump rally in Utah next week? Seems like social distancing to me. <laughs> I'm not a big rally person. I don't like people other than Jeremy. So why well, I'm here. Probably not. Yeah. Roll on before or after overseeding? Um, that's a good question. It depends on what you're trying to do. If you're going to overseed and then put down peat, you can roll it after to kind of help get soil to seed contact. Exactly. Uh, if you're just trying to roll it to help smooth it out, I, I honestly don't know that that works. It has to be super wet because you're just taking something that's like 200 pounds and rolling it across your lawn. If it's not super wet, it's just That's really like rolling wet. me across your lawn. Or probably two, probably not going to do very good. 260 pounds if you want me to row across your lawn. Um, I have seen people rent those like steamrollers, the little mini steamrollers, and roll them across their lawn. Hopefully no sprinklers in the middle. I, I want to really try good. that out. Oh, yeah. I may you, do that. Yeah, you could actually do that because yours are all out on the edges. And they're super deep. <laughs> For mini steam? <laughs> that, that could Shh, compact. Don't say anything, Justin. That could compact. Let's see. He should be gone. I hope he is. Let's see. Did it's Falcon dark ever Minnesota. show back up? Uh, I think he gave up. Good. Uh, let's see. It's dark Good. in Minnesota. Do you prefer three ways once again, ZG? <laughs> Get uh, out of let's here. Let's see. I'm out, fellas. Phone is nearly dead. Adios, Andy. See ya, Andy. Thanks what for coming. What do you guys think of the Lawn Stars iron? I think Lawn Stars iron is like any other iron, right? It's 6% uh, liquid iron, I believe. Chelated? It's liquid iron, yeah. you know, I mean, it's stuff works. You can get it any number of labels on it. I think liquid iron is liquid iron and it's all going to work. So, and the stuff rocks. Like I mean, definitely, like you need that green pop. If you're trying, if you're trying to make your lawn have a color response fast, liquid iron, hundred yeah. percent. Bam. There you go. Hey, we got two minutes. Let's two see. minutes. Any, any, like burning questions that you have okay for do you me? guys have any uh, recommendations on how to lay sod what should i put down for a starter for or other soil amendments looking to lay down latitude 36 bermuda i have never laid sod <laughs> up and down a hill lay it horizontally not vertically you're going to get channels that's the best thing i can do make sure that on the hill you don't do it that way make sure your gaps are super tight so that you don't have it pulling away keep it wet so it doesn't separate if it does separate in those areas, throw sand or throw some kind of um, compost, stuff like that. I'm trying to hurry so that we can get a couple of questions um, in those gaps. I so do like you people. 
um, and make sure you just keep it watered well until it establishes. Once it establishes, you're good to go. Back it off as soon as it starts to establish. You shouldn't need to water heavily for longer than about three weeks. Answer your questions. Dandelions. Dandelions are easy. Anything that has 2,4-D in it. True. Like, dandelions are like the easiest broadleaf weeds that you can get rid of. 2,4-D. And you guy uh, and you like us people. And right? I said yes, I do like these people. Everybody, like there's no. nobody that I don't like. Well, I don't like crowds, of people. Oh, I like crowds of people on my live stream though. That, that's a good place to have a crowd. That's the best place. You don't like talking. I hate that guy. <laughs> that's a shout out for the twelfth time in this stream. If you want a lot of shout outs, just <laughs> almost dropped it. If you want a lot of shout outs. Make sure you, um, this guy hates you. He'll give you a lot of shout-outs. Spurge and Zoysia. I'm not sure. Get back to you on that. Uh, look up the channel A to Zoysia. Paul over there has a Zoysia lawn, and he'd be able to point you in the right direction. It's 9 o'clock here. True. It is time to shut it down. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And we will see you next week. Safe on Northern Lawns. I love T-Zone. My favorite. I like it. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn. Maker Green. See ya! See you guys.